Today we have uh, experiment number five. It's motion along straight line and um, free by diagram. Actually, here we have uh, two concepts: is the motion along straight line and the contribution of rotational motion on that device. Yeah. Device is what we have. It's the uh, solid cylinder and the hollow cylinder. I have support of height uh, five centimeter measuring tape and I have this inclined surface I have this inclined what I will do today is to study the motion of of the house cylinder I will study this motion and I will study the motion of solid cylinder this motion and Actually, this is straight line. I have this inclined surface. This is theta. And this is my object here. So what force is acting on it? Actually, it's weight. And it's no. Okay? So, the resultant of this will give you what? Will give you the acceleration in this direction. So I will select as a free body diagram. Because this is acceleration in this direction, so I will select positive x-axis in the direction of acceleration and I will select negative direction, opposite of acceleration. So this is why it's perpendicular to. So I can select positive y up or positive y down because there is no acceleration in my direction. Okay, now what force is acting on my body actually? Its weight. And this is mg, and this is theta, it's the same theta here, okay? And the normal force in this direction, right? The normal force in this direction. So, I can, now I have only these forces, I neglect here the fraction, but actually the fraction itself, the fraction itself will produce the rotational motion. As the free weight diagram goes, I know that Summation of summation of fx is equal. I have here an fx is equal to ma, and actually I don't care about y. Actually, summation of fy is equal to zero because there is no acceleration in my direction as my coordinate. So I, I do care about the x direction. What forces I have in x direction? I have only mg sine theta is equal ma. I have only mg sine theta. m with m, so I say, okay, so expected value of acceleration is equal g sine theta. I am putting my in a client plane here. This length is 100 centimeter and the height is 5 centimeter. And I know sine theta is equal 5 over 100. A expected for all bodies because I neglect rotational motion, I neglect, I mean, this is for the house cylinder, for the solar cylinder, for anybody going down is equal g sine theta. And this is equal sine theta as we know, and this is equal 0.49 meter per second squared. So this is expected value of acceleration. If I am not using the rotational concept. In the linear motion we have mass and the rotational motion I, I take care about some concept named as the moment, moment of inertia. I mean in linear motion I take care about mass and opposite in rotational motion I take care about the what? The uh, rotational, the moment of inertia. As you see here we derive this and we conclude that A expected is not depends on the mass. Okay? So what we have if we do the rotational motion? The amazing thing that if I use this is with rotational motion, okay, concepts, and that's what I include here, I include here what the ruling 
friction, rolling friction. Okay. So what I have, I have. You can check this. I don't want you to go with more details in this, but if you want to check how we got this equation, actually this is in your manual, and you see here it's one one plus c with g sign here. It's amazing. What's this c? It's absolute value relating to the shape of my object that's rolling down. From where I got this C? Actually from the law of the moment of inertia. The law of the moment of inertia is I is equal C M R square. Okay? So M is the mass of the object and R is the radius okay, of rotation. Radius of rotation. I have this rotation. So the radius is what? Is this radius? This is the radius. Radius of rotation, as you see here. This is the radius of rotation. This is the radius of rotation. So, what's the moment of inertia of power cylinder? Power cylinder is equal exactly to 1 m r squared. I have the same m, that same r. What the moment of inertia of solid cylinder? It's 0.5. It's amazing, I have the same M, same, but here because of the shape and because we change the same shape, here we have solid, here we have hollow, so I got a very big difference between moment of inertia of hollow center and solid center. I am getting that A expected for the hollow center is equal 0.5 G sine. Theta. You see, it's G sin theta and here 0.5 G sin theta, it's a big difference. Big difference have value, so I can say this is this is giving me exactly 0.245 meter per second square. Compare. It's a very amazing result. It's half value. And I will check it in a practical work and to see which one is right. And here A expected for the solid cylinder is equal what? For solid cylinder is equal 0.667 G sine theta. As you know sine theta is 0.05, G is 9.8. So the result will be 0.667 and this is given for all. It's amazing. It's 0.327 meter per second super. It's amazing. This is without see it's taking into account the rotational motion concept and this is with rotational concept. So please just keep these into mind because this is very important. I will compare these things later.